All right. Final part, part three of our reaction to Golion Kiras Lila Ram Lila. I have to look down at the title every time just to make sure I say it right. So you guys are watching this on YouTube. You're going to see a countdown version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us, not broken up into parts, the entire reaction. So you get all the stuff in between that's cut, that's chopped out. Uh, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykawai, or become a member of this channel, youtube.com slash jabbykawai. So you can watch the whole movie with us, no compromises, but you'll need your own copy of the film. We are watching it through Amazon Eros now, if you want to watch the exact same one we're watching. So you can open up the movie in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a 3 2 one countdown sync, and it'll be like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. All right, let's jump back into this. Here we go. आज से सारे फैसले मेरे मेरा फैसला है खून के बदले खून बाकी जगह उनकी बेटी और ये मेरा फैसला है सिर्फ मेरा इन्हीं सारे सनेडाओं का यही फैसला है चाहो तो पूछ लो अरे लीला बहन को क्या कर ले धंधे की आपको पता है मुझे नफरत है इस धंधे से इस कुर्सी से इस खून खराबे से फिर भी आप मुझे धके रहो इसमें कुर्सी तेरा नसीब है लीला और इसे तू बदल नहीं सकती दिमाग से काम ले लीला अगर सनेडाओं की बागदर भवानी के हाथ लग गई तो फूंक डालेगा रंजार को सरपंच के हाजरी में मीटिंग फिक्स हो गई है धनकोर के यहाँ सुलह चाहते हो तो धनकोर को ले आओ हमारे यहाँ थोड़ी माफी वो मांग लेगी तो थोड़ी हम मांग लेंगे मैं जाऊंगा अलाउन कल शाम छह बजे कन्फर्म डॉन सो बैड आइडिया इसलिए हम सब ये चाहते हैं कि अब आप दोनों एक हो जाओ इन्होंने भाई को मारा मेरे भाई तो मेरा भी गया सरपंच जी हमारी औरतों की इज्जत पे हाथ डाला गया वो चीज तो यहाँ से भी हुई मेरी पे गोली चलाई रे मेरी बीवी मुझसे छीन ली हर चीज का बदला लिया तो इसका क्यों नहीं इस सुला के नाम पे बंदूकी चली उसका बदला क्यों नहीं वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन वादों से मुकरने का बदला जिम्मेदारी ऐसी भागने का बदला दुनिया के सामने तमाशा बनाने का बदला क्यों नहीं चलो दिया हाथ सरपंच जी बैर खत्म हो गयी सुला आज के बाद किसी सनेडा का किसी रजाड़ी ऐसी कोई वास्ता नहीं कंधे बहुत तेली अब धंधे संभालो सीधा बोलो ना हुजूर नई नई गद्दी संभाली है तो बदले से डर लगता है ना ए डरती ना तो छुप के वार करती ऐसे खुले आम प्यार नहीं करती अब दुश्मन ही निभाएंगे प्यार से रिलैक्स रे फोदिया मोबाइल से वन पिक हे पोपट आज रात को ट्विटर पे जाना चाहिए कल सुबह सब समाचार में रामलीला एक हो गए थोड़ा अर्जेंट है कल जो आपने रजाडियों के साथ सेटलमेंट किया था ना ये उसके एग्रीमेंट के पेपर हैं। तब में पढ़ लो एक बार तुमने पढ़ लिया ना काफी इस महीने से हफ्ते दुगने कर दिए uh... आपके ऊपर वो जो हथियार का केस था ना वो खत्म कर दिया हाईवे की सड़क का टेंडर हम लोग भर रहे हैं साथ। I can't. वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हमारा होना चाहिए भवानी भाई जी भैया और वो पंकज भाई को भी सेट कर दिया नहीं नहीं कोई बात नहीं तुम्हें साइन करो काम हो जाएगा वो बैठक में कुछ लोग आप पता नहीं कैसे संभालते आए हो बड़ी गलती कर दी मूरख लीला बहन ने जो कल बिना देखे ऑर्डर पर साइन कर दिया आज पूरे रंजर से रजाडी साफ मान गए भाई। what happened. जिस कुर्सी के लिए मैंने अपनी बुआ हुजूर पर गोली चलवाई उस कुर्सी पे बैठ के रोमांस कर रही है वो लीला और भवानी लिखेगा इस लव स्टोरी की है Got snatched up. Oh what? Oh, this is going through. Oh man. Up 
देख उसके ऑर्डर्स रजाड़ियों को मारने के ऑर्डर्स हमें मारने के ऑर्डर्स an important lesson to always read whatever you sign your name on. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. Bhavani ka hai? Bhavani bhai to aap hi ke kaam se gaye huzur. Aapne wo order pass kiya tha na? Kaun sa order? Rajaaniyon ke Ram ko usi ke rath pe mara. Hamari devi to aap hi ho. I guess the ink that fell on the contract was symbolic of like spilled blood. No. I was wondering what that what the meaning of that was. I thought she saw something. Badla nahi leka. Ram chacha ke the badla nahi lenge. Turan mein phool girenge. Tu kesar ko ma bulata hai. Mujhe sab yahan no, no. इस बार नहीं बुआ हुजूर बड़ी मेहनत लगी है रजाड़ियों को रंजार से मिटाने के लिए अब ये मौका मैं हाथ से नहीं जाने दूंगा His gun's empty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. खबर भेजो रजाड़ियों को के इस बार का दशहरा सनेडा और रजाड़ी साथ मिलके मनाएंगे रसीला तैयारी करो लीला को आज राम के साथ मात की गोलियां चलनी शुरू हो गई पहली बार देखा था यही तुम्हारा था तीन की गिनती पे डिस्क आओ एक दो साल में पहली बार रजाड़ी और सनेड़ा ने मिलकर रावण जलाया और फिर लीला को बड़ी शान से राम के साथ विदा किया राम लीला ने प्यार के नाम की ऐसी गोली चलाई कि अब रणजार में गोली नहीं चलती होली मनती है अब घर नहीं चलते दिवाली साथ मनती है बदला और गुरूर अगर समंदर को बंजर रण बना सकते हैं तो आशिक इस बंजर मिट्टी में भी Others oh, the peacock.
Man, that's heartbreaking. No. Oh, they've worked together a bunch of times. If you asked me at the beginning, it's like, I'm pretty sure they have. I'm like, I feel like I remember that. Just like my memory wasn't serving me at the, at the beginning of the movie. And then I looked it up. I'm like, oh, yeah, like a bunch of times. Bunch. And Ram Your Singh always ends up in the water somehow. <laughs> I thought it was a really different rendition of Romeo and Juliet that I appreciated. With <laughs> yeah. I, I liked how they explored like with the added Indian culture and like yeah. the difference yeah. between our telling and their telling of the story. I thought the actors were incredible. Like all of the main cast was so so good and believable. I thought that to the first question, the chemistry was definitely there. I okay. really do love the chemistry. They're married in real life. Oh, they are? Yeah. No way. That's why I was asking How you. How cute. Yeah, they have real chemistry. Yeah. That's real. It's depressing. Of it's course. Sad. It's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I really liked it. I thought it was uh, beautifully handled. I like the way it was shot. I mean, obviously, this is a classic film director. Like, he's one of the most celebrated directors in India, as far as I know. I like their acting a lot. I like the music. The only song I didn't care for, which kind of won me by the end, was the one with the drums towards the end of the movie. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, right before the... Where she's dancing. Yeah, where she's dancing and right before her mom gets shot. At that point, I kind of wanted the you know, the third act to come into play and things to speed up a little bit. And that music kind of was kind of slowing it down for me. Even though it was a good song, it just felt out of place. Yeah. Because I'm like, no, we need to keep the ball rolling here. Overall, I, I enjoyed where the characters went. They took the Romeo and Juliet template and really built on that in an interesting way because, I mean, I don't remember exactly what happened in Romeo and Juliet because it's been so long. All I know is they die at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Something happens where, where uh, she like took a fake poison and pretended she was dead and so Romeo thought yeah she died so he, like he killed himself and then she wakes up and sees he's dead so she kills herself something like that I thought this was interesting in the way it was handled where they they ascend to the highest ranks in their own family and she's she's like caught between like her undying affection for him and the honor that she has to have towards her mom and like her family and all that stuff and there's like a lot going on internally and you were asking, like, why isn't he doing anything at one point in the movie? Like, what's wrong with him? And I think that he was trying to keep his distance to protect her. That's my defense of the f of his movement anyway. He saw what happened when they were coming together. It was just like, it was creating chaos. I have to admit a really, really big faux pas or like a, a mental faux pas on my part because I confused two of the actresses because they mm. look so similar. The one with the neck tattoo and um, the lady that lost her, her husband. Deepika Padukone's friend who she sent to go tell mm -hmm. you know hey you know tell him to meet me here the one who almost got graped i confused those two actresses oh yeah and so right after the near grape and the actress is running for her life with the water in tow i was confused i'm like what is going on like is she being punished because she oh. tried to help out deepika padukone and then it took me i'm like oh oh it's like eye for an eye kind of thing now i get what's going on here because they look so alike to me i'm so sorry but i just have to admit that like for a moment my brain was just like oh, i don't understand like why oh, they're going okay. after it. the one part the more that i think about it because the my biggest frustration was with him and i was like why aren't you doing anything if you're like she her, you've given her life yeah. your life to her i think this is the problem when you introduce cell phones into a story like this which i i think they actually handled it well they were trying to do a modern day tell of romeo and juliet mm -hmm. but it does make it a little bit more or for the viewer to have thoughts because it's like, why don't you text? Why don't you call? Like there's so many things you could do discreetly. And so it just like added that layer of you should be talking to her, even though the time is not for that necessarily, because it is an older story of telling sure. where there's not that access to communication in that way. I see your argument there. That That is a conundrum. I suppose he was telling her by not telling her anything. Maybe he, I don't know, I can come up with any excuse. Maybe in his mind, he was like, if I take this phone call, I'm not gonna be able to tell her no. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be able to keep my distance anymore or she's gonna be really, really stubborn and get us both killed or something, you know, or get more innocent people killed. Like he said it, uh, uh, towards the end of the film, he's like, our love should not be so toxic that it's getting innocent people killed. And I think that's what he was afraid of. You saw what happened when he was like, stay home, don't leave. And then she left anyway and got the rings. Like she's so stubborn. And so if he took the phone call, I think he was afraid that more bad stuff was gonna happen. Yeah. So. You're right. It doesn't make sense. He should have tried to communicate, but I think that there's a defense that the film already implements by what it showed you, you know, potentially. Yeah, I hear that. I liked his acting a lot. Um, I liked her acting a lot. He's a very flamboyant kind of character in real life. 
render sync. Very exuberant. Like the clothes he wears and everything like that. Their, and their energy is totally different. Like Deepika Padukone is very, she's like you, like very grounded. She's not like crazy big. Whereas Ranveer Singh is like your best friend. Um, uh, Roxy. Roxy, you know, very out there. My point is that like when he's getting like big and exuberant in the film, it's not much of a stretch for him. It's interesting to see him go the other direction where he has to have these contained moments. Mm -hmm. Like when he's like, let's take a photo together. And he's like, trying to suppress all that emotion and he's just crying, but he's trying not to cry. He's trying to just have this moment with her and, and he's saying, oh, this is gonna be on the front page of Twitter, etc." I'm like, it was a good moment. He handles that stuff really, really, really well. Yeah. So. And just speaking to their chemistry, because Indian films are, the ones I've seen are way more modest than American films, okay. especially when they're telling the romance. There's way less kissing, there's way less touching. Yeah. But them, it's like, it makes sense that they're married. So they're like, no, we can get a little more touchy and yeah. kissy together, which I appreciated. <laughs> I don't know if they were married at the time, but they certainly, they were probably in a relationship already. Well, right? yeah, there you was just like, like that real chemistry yeah. there. And like, you could just see it in their eyes. I think that like romance is so easy to pick up and yeah. so often it is off screen because it's hard to imagine it on screen without that. Supriya Pathak. So good. She did an amazing job as the mafia boss, Dhangor Ba. Right away, she was frightening. Right away, she, was, she had this intimidating presence. And then to see her transition after she's gunned down and to have all these realizations that are playing out in her eyes alone. I'm like, whoa, like I am buying every, like you were like, is she, can she talk? Or like is something wrong with her? And I think she was just so paralyzed with realization at her daughter growing up and mm -hmm. everything going on that she couldn't even say anything. But she was expressing so much in her eyes alone, like all this love and realization. I was just like blown away by her performance. And then with the the thing with the kid at the end of the movie, that little dialogue, again, further realization, further understanding how wrong that she has been all this time mm -hmm. and perpetuating this battle between these two families that's been going on for 500 years. I really like seeing that transition in her face, in her eyes. Like she was just really, fun to watch. Yeah, she's a, I love her character introduction. It's different than the other renditions of Romeo and Juliet that we've seen where we don't have like this queen mother figure like that. You have the establishment of these two characters who just want to be with, be together, right? As is in Romeo and Juliet. And there are people around them who just want to fight. And it's so frustrating because it's so real. This is like what happens in real life where you have characters in real life, bad actors in real life who are just trying to keep like stirring the fight, keeping that going. And it's like, why? Why can't we just like hug? <laughs> why can't we all just get along? I know. <laughs> you know? That's why this story is still one of the greatest of all times because it shows the flaws of our humanity. You know, there are those of us like myself who just wish that we could make peace with one another and it just not, it's not gonna happen. Like the ending, it was nice in so far as they put down their arms finally and they united. That's cool. It's not happening in real life though. And that's the sad thing that I wish would happen. And it's like this age old thing, like humans are just predisposed towards killing one another and it sucks. In revenge. <laughs> in revenge. This idea of revenge as if that brings back, like I like the lines of, does that bring back your husband and it's like, or right. your brother, no. Yeah, it's like eye for an eye for an eye for an eye for an eye and it just keeps happening. Yeah. And it doesn't stop, it never stops. It's so frustrating. The music was, was wonderful. I mean, how'd you feel about it? I really enjoyed the musical pieces. I thought they were really well timed out and mm -hmm. paced. I enjoyed how they looked visually. The dances were like way more, and a little different movements than I'm used to and I like that like yeah. the characters just brought like that head scratching move that was so fun and I thought that they the songs were well placed where I wasn't like okay another song like sometimes I'm like I want that story so I but this one I was like okay the song makes I like the flow of this yeah you know the introductory song I was a little bit annoyed at first because I'm like we haven't even heard this character talk his introduction is a song but then I realized that that song was actually helping us to understand his character mm -hmm. and like his behavior the way he is and how he conducts himself and it was actually perfect. And you're right, like every time we got an interlude, generally speaking, the music was helping the movie along. Only instance was that one I was complaining about earlier where I'm just like, why is there a song right now? <laughs> like, what the hell? I would just keep the movie going, it's fine. Even the item number with Priyanka was great because- Yeah, that was great. You know, it was emphasizing the trouble with these characters in the story. And the way that, that uh, Ranveer Singh was owning his conflict was awesome. I just think like he's just got so much expression in his eyes. He's unafraid of being physical, but it's like, it's not done in such a way that feels, at least in this instance, it doesn't feel like over the top and stupid. 
You know, it feels like just an expression of who he is in a beautiful way. It's hard to act drunk. And I feel like he was this great, like, sad, grieving drunkard for yeah. half part of the film. Yeah, no, totally. I enjoyed seeing the characters go through their co conflict, the tri their trials and tribulations. And it's sad what happens at the end. It's like, yeah. but I, I thought it was a nice twist on what the traditional version of that tale is, mm -hmm. you know, with the poison, the, with using the guns instead and them going at the same time. And the thing that makes it strange but also interesting at the same time was that he was smiling as they were falling into the water yeah you know it's like finding peace yeah like free of all of this tension and conflict finally it's almost poetic in a way kind of like the dialogue it's like those were it's one of those instances where i was like fuck if only i spoke hindi then i could i could get the better sense as to the rhythmic poetry in the dialogue but like he fell into the water just like he did when she pushed him the yeah. first time you know yeah it's beautiful for sure. There was some really well-written parts when they were like, you're asking them to breathe and you've taken away their air. I was yeah. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the romance. Yeah. What's even more curious to me is how they're able to, I mean, unless it's just like a spectacular subtitler. What's interesting to me is when they have these moments that are clearly rhyming in Hindi, but also rhyme in the subtitle. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. It's not a double entendre, but you know what I mean? It's like, a, it, yeah. it's got that double effect of rhyming. I'm like, that's really cool. I don't know how they did that. That's neat. That must've been really challenging yeah. to find those things, you know? Like everything I've watched uh, from Sanjay Leela Bansali has always been like just magnificent to watch mm. in terms of just like the visual spectacle of it all. The only thing I wish is that he would use uh, anamorphic lenses. That's it. Because it's it's a cropped widescreen. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the way the, the bokeh looks, that's not how bokeh looks when it's a true widescreen. If you don't want to hear technical shit, then this is the time to leave. Basically on film celluloid, right? It's like a square. And what they used to do was just chop off the top and bottom to give you that widescreen oh. look. And so at some point, like, I don't know who it was, they, they, these guys who work on lenses and cameras and stuff realized that they could get a true wide image if they use an anamorphic lens, which essentially provides a squeezed image onto that square frame. And then you have a special lens that de-squeezes it when you're showing the movie. And so anamorphic lenses basically give you a true wide presentation as opposed to just cropping it. And you can tell what, what is anamorphic and what's not just by looking at the bokeh. Because the bokeh on fake widescreen, I say fake, but it, it, I mean, you know what I mean, is, is more rounded, whereas the anamorphic widescreen is more narrow. And if you look at any of the Disney Plus shows, right, those are all shot anamorphic. Yeah. If you look at the bokeh, it's all a narrow bokeh in the background. And I like that they shoot that way. It's real widescreen that they're giving you on these TV shows. I just wish it was Sanjay Lila Bonsali's eye. It's like, Dude, shoot anamorphic. It'll look even better. <laughs> but like that's, you know, most people are none the wiser. They don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah, that is an interesting point. Bajra Mastani was in 2015 and Golia Ki Raslila Ramlila was 2013. Yeah, okay. so. And then Padmava or Padmavati came out in 2018. So yeah, they've worked together so many times. Dang, yeah. So I like this film quite a bit. Yeah. I thought it was a wonderful take on the Romeo and Juliet story. Their love was toxic, but so much fun to watch and I need to work out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. No, not a single hair on this guy. Yeah, and I also need to like get my hair la like, lasered. What? That's one of the things I need to give myself for Christmas, <laughs> hair laser removal. So, y'all, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm Jabby Koi, this is- Steph Zabra. Peace out.